Hey guys, B Tier Plumbing here, and today I am here with my 2001 Comfort Height American Standard Cadet Toilet. Me and OCC Plumbing and Restorations actually found this toilet sitting outside of someone's house, and it looks like it had been sitting for a while because if you look, you can see a water line right here. So, and that looks it's like almost like sand or something. I don't know what that is, but wherever it had been sitting, it definitely sat under a little bit of water. Um, obviously, that is not the original tank that goes to it. Um, this toilet did not come with a tank. It was only the bowl and the lid, which is right there. And the only other reason I don't have, I have several American Standard Cadet tanks that came with my other cadets like this. But the only reason I don't have one at the moment is because they are in storage with most of my other fixtures. So uh, eventually I'll have to refilm this toilet because this tank does not give it the proper flush. Uh, this is a 1.6 gallons per flush toilet. I've always kind of liked these because of the design. Um, and I also like how even though it's comfort height, they raised up the trapway. I notice on a lot of Elger uh, fixtures that are comfort height, flushometer or residential, even though the toilet is taller, the trapway is still the same height. They just added a whole bunch of blank space up here. But I like that American Standard actually like lifted up the trapway with the toilet. So it gives it a much stronger siphon. Um, the date, I believe, is September 29th of 2001, which should be somewhere right here. There it is. Hopefully you all can see that. And yes, this is a two inch spud toilet with a three inch um, flush valve in here. Uh, this tank is meant for a three inch flush valve, but the original tank that were to come with this toilet would have a two inch flush valve. But overall, it actually functions okay. Um, I wouldn't want it installed in my house with this style tank on it. I would definitely want the original because it's bigger, holds a little more water and gives the flush more power. So it's not terribly weak, but again, it's not great. Um, and y'all will see that here now. So here is a flush. As y'all can see, it's not very powerful nowhere near as powerful as it should be but it's also not terribly weak it seems like it's only just enough water to get it to siphon but um one other thing i'm not a big fan about of this toilet is how shallow the bowl is i prefer a much deeper bowl but again this is from the early 2000s uh, so i'm not really surprised with all the i guess design flaws even though it's not really a flaw me personally i just don't really like like the really shallow bowls i prefer deeper but here is another flush. Another thing about this tank is, if y'all you will probably notice here after the next few flushes, this tank creates very inconsistent flushes with this toilet. I don't know if it's just the tank itself, the flapper I'm using, but sometimes it uses a little more water, sometimes it uses less. I don't really know exactly what caused that. Again, it's probably, well, part of it is because this is not the right style tank. It's a three inch flush valve on a two inch inlet toilet. So I'm sure there's a lot of things that come into play with it having um, a very inconsistent flush because sometimes the flapper closes right before the siphon. Sometimes it closes right after, but here is another flush. That one was pretty decent. Um, again, it seems like it takes most of the water to initiate the siphon because again, this tank is not designed whatsoever for this bowl. And it looks like a Glacier Bay tank and it probably is like some sort of Glacier Bay tank, but on the side here, it actually says Green Tide. I have never seen a fixture that had anything called Green Tide stamped onto it. So again, I'm sure it's just an off-brand Glacier Bay or they're all probably the same company of some sort, but. You can see the date there. It looks like it says 2008 11 29. So uh, the tank is not much newer than this bowl. But again, this tank is not designed for this toilet. And that is the reason for the poor flushes. The flapper gets stuck. No, see, I, I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it. Uh, it uses all the water sometimes it closes early and i've already flushed it about 20 times before i started filming the video just to make sure this chain wasn't getting like stuck or the flapper was getting stuck on the handle and it does not get stuck whatsoever so there's nothing preventing that flapper from closing so 
for whatever reason it likes to do that but because this bowl is full i'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy out and let the tank refill the rest of the way and yes i did set the water line above the water level in the tank just to give it a better flush um, honestly let me fill it up until it goes into that overflow tube and then i'll flush it just to see how it does i doubt this is really going to help the flush any but and it just kind of screamed at me <laughs> That could be pretty obnoxious if it kept going. Here is another flush with an overfilled tank. That flush seemed a little bit better, but not by much. Overall, this isn't this isn't a toilet that I would mind having in my house. Uh, I don't know how it'd do performance wise, and I definitely am not gonna test it with that tank because then it wouldn't be fair because that tank, again, is not providing anywhere near enough power that this toilet needs. Um, and if you wanna know how these toilets are supposed to flush, I have filmed a few of my other ones because I also have a round one that's standard height and then a standard height elongated one. Um, I think this is the first comfort, either the first or second comfort height one of these that I've gotten. But overall, I, I definitely like this toilet. Again, it's not like the greatest thing out there, but and I'm not sure of the reason why they replaced it. Maybe it was because it was comfort height. Maybe they wanted something newer. I don't know, but I don't have much experience using these toilets because I don't see them very often. But yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave y'all's comments down below. And as always, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.